Hello. I'm sitting here surrounded by really strange and funny hats and you'll find out soon why that is. I'm Janet. Some of you might remember me if you've been to Norwich Cathedral on a school visit. Well, here I am at home, like all of you. And you know, I've been thinking today about a massive family all around the world, the Christian family. Did you know that all over the world, in just about every country, there are Christians, followers of Jesus. We've got a really posh sort of phrase for that. It's called global Christianity. Your teachers will like that. Anyway, I suddenly thought about what this means. If you've got a map of the world, maybe you can find one somewhere on a shelf at home or or maybe on the internet, definitely you'll find one there. Or maybe you've got a globe that you can get out and spin it round and think about planet Earth. You'll see the green areas, you'll see all that sea, you'll see all the countries in the world. When I look at the map of the world, I think what an amazing, huge place it is. And when I think that there's a big family of Christians, people who follow Jesus and worship him every day of their lives, are all over that world. It's pretty mind-blowing. It's really important for Christians to think about being part of a big family, just like it is for us to feel that we belong in our families and in our school family. Well, these funny hats... Maybe you could find some hats, costumes and stuff at home and put them on, perhaps do a fashion parade when you're really thinking about this family of Christians all over the world. I've got a hat here from Costa Rica. How about that? Yeah, evening Costa Rica, far away. Maybe you could research that country on the internet. There are Christians praying. Do you know what that's about? talking to God, listening to God. They're doing that, even in that country. Of course, oh, this is my Russian hat. Yeah, I know I look stupid. Even in Russia, there are people who are Christians. I like this one because it's golden and it's lovely and you can wrap it around your head. You might have seen ladies with their head covered near where you live in our country. I got this from India. And yes, even in India, there are so many Christians. And this Easter Sunday, when all churches in our country and countries all over the world will get out gold and white as the special colors to remind them of what they believe happened to Jesus when he rose again from the dead on Easter Sunday. And then there's all those countries that are often cold <laughs> in Scandinavia. So I've got my woolly hat. Places like Sweden and Norway and Denmark where it's often cold and snowy. Yes, there are just so many Christians and there are so many different kinds of churches, you know, and cathedrals. So many of them, different kinds, different shapes, different sizes in all these countries around the world. Back to my silly costumes again now. Oh, this one I like because I can drape it over my head and this one's from Egypt. Yeah, even in Egypt, there are Christians, Christians worshipping Jesus every day. So many wonderful countries. Oh, this is my favourite, so I saved it until last. Yeah, this is from Vietnam. It's like a lampshade, isn't it? It feels quite dark under here. <laughs> well... That's the idea, because it's a massive sunshade. It often gets really hot in Vietnam. And there are lots of people out in the fields, farming, and out on the rivers, selling their things. 
and they need hats like this to keep the sun off them. So they make them, they make them by weaving together lots of strips of dried palm tree leaves. Isn't that clever? And they're so strong. You see everybody wearing them in Vietnam. Well, even in Vietnam, there are so many wonderful churches and cathedrals, so many Christians. Well, do you know, there's something else that is really, really special about what Christians do in other countries. It's called worship. And did you know that any country in the world, just about where there are Christians that you go to, you can join in with the same services. It's amazing. In my next film, I'll be talking about water. So you might want to get a bowl of water ready. And I'll be talking about special cups and bread. See you again soon.